Hi Aquarians, welcome to your October 12th to the 17th general love reading. This is you and the person on your mind. So remember the messages are general. This may not resonate with everyone. And sometimes, you know, the whole message isn't for you. There's just a message in here that is for you to hear. Once you get your message, you know, take it and leave the rest. And uh, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is usually what I do focus on. But I also don't always want you to stay stuck on that as well. Because if the message there is there, the message is for you. If I feel called to, I will do an extended. You'll find the link down below. I usually decide towards the end. Spirits, let's be clear for my Aquarians. The person on their mind. What's the current situation? Let's do this. All right. All right. Stand in your ground here. The overall energy. What you may not see either. Mm, Aquarius, leave a Gemini. Somebody could be coming towards you to bring balance to this relationship right out the gate. Somebody who's been unrequited in the past and hasn't been, you've been waiting for a love offer and there's been no growth in the situation. But I see an apology possibly coming back for the two of you, okay? This person wasn't investing in the past. It's very reckless with your heart and um, very unjust, unjust. Is it unjust or unjust? Um, but they, uh, you guys weren't seeing eye to eye here. So I'm gonna just show you this. This is what you don't see come in or the overall you know, type of energy about this, the message I'm gonna you know, do today. It's talking about standing your ground here. Stand in your ground, stand in your power. Warding off anything negative, all right? Staying true to your stance because somebody's coming in. Aries Libra, Aries Libra, uh, Aries Libra, it could be Aries Libra. There's never a mistake. Aries Leo Sag, coming in very fast and feisty, okay? And it's looking like they wanna, you know, to, you know make an effort now, bring balance to this relationship. All right, unrequited, unrequited in the past, unrequited and, you know, wasn't opening up their heart and bringing you the love offer that you wanted. All right, but now they're coming back saying, I want to make it fair. I want to balance things out. All right, they left you feeling, you know, low, low about yourself. And you're the, you're the queen, king, empress, emperor, no gender specific. All right, but you didn't see growth in this situation, but I see an apology coming in, a reconciliation, all right, with, with the person, with this person who, and I, I'm saying this because they did something that, that was really hurtful to you, said something really hurtful to you, but very reckless with their words and their behavior, very immature energy, very immature, reckless, and uh, just... I feel like they spoke or said something or were just saying nasty things or mean things or just hurtful things um, just out of spite. And um, they really weren't speaking their truth. They were just being very defensive. All right. Because they knew they weren't investing in this relationship. They just knew they weren't, they weren't given what you wanted. I do see, like I said, an apology. It could be with a Taurus. I see really strong fire. But this person was showing up for you before as the Page of Wands in reverse. And now they're coming in as the Knight of Wands, upright. So I do see a more mature energy, very passionate energy, and with an intention of trying to create balance in this relationship, but you need to stand your ground. So that was just like a whole insight into what you might not see coming. And um, the energy that's kind of around this reading which means that the energy that comes out in the reading I do right now, like I'm just going to pull some cards, is going to show you the current, and that could be what's leading into this as well, okay? Moving towards that. All right, so you, five of wands in reverse. You don't want to fight something anymore, fight with somebody anymore. Again, fire energy. Um, just feeling defeated almost in a, in a way, like uh, with an Aries Leo Sag, Okay. You just don't want to fight. You don't want to be the one to constantly uh, pull and force this relationship anymore. You want this person to, to give, all right? Mutual energy, making a decision, two of pentacles in reverse. Making a final decision, finally deciding. And your person, the eight of swords, they're in their head right now. They know. They know. 
and they're they're running through these stories in their head maybe how they're going to come in how are they going to reconcile how are they going to apologize okay but they are in their head so let's pull three cards for you three cards for your person to start with you the four of pentacles in reverse see i do get a feeling of you just letting go you know um not holding on too tightly not fighting this too much just not wanting to fight this situation too much, all right? So that's a good energy for you. I feel like you're breathing, all right? The lover's card, okay? There could be another lover around you too. Um, it could be a Gemini as well, but we're looking at this person right here, and I just feel like you really have a strong bond with this person, and even though you're letting go of the fight, you still can't let go of um, this person, but you are, it's almost like you... What's held you on with this person for so long is that connection the two of you had. And maybe there's been a lot of time here or a lot of, um, a lot of friction in this relationship, but you have decided to make a choice here to kind of back off a little bit and let it go. And that, yeah, there's the decision, the two of swords. So for a while there, you were fighting this possibly, and you were holding on really tight to a reconciliation. You wanted this, you were, maybe you were trying to fight this and force this to happen, you know, and, 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 and draw whatever out of this person and you just couldn't. It was like the more you tried, the harder they pushed away. And now you're making a choice be, out of love. Like you love this person, but you're making a choice to back off and let this person come to you if they if they choose to, all right? It's just not bothering you as much as maybe you did in the past. All right, your person, look at this. They're thinking relationship now, family. Maybe there is a child between the two of you. You know, maybe they did hurt you. They separated, they had a family, you were a third party, who knows? can be different for all of you, but I feel like there could have been a family involved or another um, situation involved. And this person's really, really in their head about a relationship, about this relationship, about maybe what they've done. They want, look at this, the companionship. They want to make peace. Leo energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Wanting to make peace Wanting to work together. This is a companionship. Look at this is marriage. This is marriage. Your person's kind of looking at the future in this current energy now. Did they ruin a marriage? Did they was this a marriage? Are they starting to think that you could have, you know, you could be the one that got away? You were the one that made them happy because remember the lover's card is two people that just have this instant, this attraction, this bond, this deep feeling towards one another that you don't feel with everybody. And can we get back to that? Can we get back to that? And this person here is like a big fat yes, I want to. In their feelings and feeling very passionate, which is why they're coming in as a fire sign. Even if they're not a fire sign Aquarius, they're coming in with that passion. All right. One more, the three of wands in reverse in a relationship. When I pull this in a relationship like this, lots of times this means I don't want to move on. I, you're the one that I've, I'm, I'm, I'm fine where I'm at. This is it for me. I don't need to look any further. But they're in their head. So what I'm getting from this read because of what I pulled in the beginning is this is what's going on with your person right now. They're in their head. They're trying to contemplate. And then what you don't see, I think, is maybe this is at the end of the week and then moving on towards the end of October, which I can take a closer look um, in the extended. But um, it looks as though this is the energy they're sitting in, really in their head, telling themselves stories. Can I do this? Should I do this? Coulda, woulda, done a, you know, that kind of good stuff. All right. All right. The challenge here is going to be trust. Look at that, the Queen of Cups. Opening up and sharing your feelings with each other again. Because remember, they did something and you've got to stand your ground. So trust, being sensitive, nurturing, healing. Can we heal this? A lot of healing energy from your person's side. The Sun card and the Queen of Cups. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. The outcome here, 
We have the Six of Cups right now in the current energy, not showing you how they feel. So I also get a possible, when I see any six in reverse, the way I read tarot, I don't care what anybody else says, the six is in reverse, tell me there's a possibility, even though it's a separation, there's a possibility of somebody coming back, but not opening up in this case, being it's the cups. Not with the queen of cups, being 100% honest right away with how they feel, okay? It also could be saying that in the current energy, that this is how they're feeling, but they're still unsure with the Eight of Swords, whether or not you guys can reconcile and, and get back what you once had, okay? They're trying to fight it. They're trying to fight their feelings. They're trying to fight their memories, okay, with moving on with this. So I'm pull one more with the Six of Cups. I get the Eight of Pentacles, all right? So it's like they want to work on this. They may even been... They may even be hiding, trying to hide how they feel with these thoughts while they're working. Just work it out, work it out. But I also get working it out. That just one, they got working it out in their own head. They're trying to work it out. But they're also trying to ignore by working. Do you see what I mean? Six cups in reverse and not wanting to think about their feelings and emotions and just working away, working and tinkering along. But this is, this is going to change we saw that with the knight of um knight of wands coming right in okay so that's the current energy i'm gonna leave these cards here we're gonna go into the extended take a look and see how this pans out in the rest of our um october and i'll also post some messages in case they have some messages in the current energy okay i love you guys take care